Right guys, this is just a quick um, update update on something that just drove out the shed yesterday. Um, I think you can all work out what it is. It's a Reliance Scimitar. Now, I've had a few of these and I've still got a few. And this one is one of the better ones because it's got a galvanized chassis. It is an SE5, so it is the early one. Um, it's had a lot of money spent on it, not by me, I might add, by a young kid who wants to drive it as his everyday driver, only to be confronted with the insurance premium, which then put the fear of God into him, and that was the end of that. So, um, we would have to sort of say that, yeah, some of this wiring, I just don't know what he did, but he managed to lose all the headlights as well. Got a little bit of Brian damage here at the front, which is going to need to be addressed, and he gave it a Starsky and Hutch stripe, and I think... Starsky and Hutch would be embarrassed because it had sort of 15 inch 20 inch bloody great big wolf on the back and it were pointing down it were terrible so I'm just they had to come off so it's got some two or six wheels on at the moment it runs and drives fine it's actually quite a nice old thing uh, a few little jobs need sorting out nothing major so my son wants a driving he wants a car that's, that he can just smoke round in so he's sort of eyeballed the fact that perhaps this could be the one so uh, she's coming out to have some little, just a few titivations done. Sort the headlights out. Um, sort out the ignition lock, the ignition steer. I mean, he put, I mean, some people, he put a key up under there. I mean, it's in the most ridiculous place you could ever think of. So that's coming out. But other than that, she's not a bad old car. I mean, she's good. She's a good car. She's just another one. Just another one that just needs a bit of love. Um, and hopefully, like I say, if she runs and drives, he can use it, we can use it, the whole thing can use it. It's got a tow bar, and uh, it does go well, it does sound nice as well. So that's going to be the little project, because as you probably are aware, I'm a little bit screwed for space. I want to say, you probably can keep seeing it in the back of the video, we've been doing other stuff, because I'm waiting on people, I'm waiting on shock absorbers, I'm waiting on calipers, I'm waiting on handbrake cables, I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. So I've had to have a bit of a break from something like that, and so I decided I'd do something that was a bit more, something that would actually run and drive. So that was the mission. Now, it's a very strange day here at the old Ed Shed, because I'm doing something I never usually do. I've actually put, my son put a car up for sale, or two cars up for sale, um, on the old dreaded, whatever they call it, you know, you know faces, book. Um, and how can you say someone's supposedly coming to look at one of the my 2 plus 2 E type which you've never seen uh, which is a bit of a shame because if you did buy it then you won't see it but I uh, personally don't think you will but we'll see anyway we are doing our bit in the edge shed we recycle old antifreeze we use it again we drain everything that has got antifreeze that's going for scrap and we fill up our cans and we make sure that we don't waste any because cats love it so um, unfortunately I'm going to cats anymore so that's it Felix has never been back I don't know what happened to him but he left so I'm going to say to you that uh, for the minute I'm going to walk up to the top just to go check on what's happening um, and at the minute I will be back then possibly to have a little titivation with this old girl I do actually have some wire wheels that would go on it and I always fancy them with wires I don't know it's possible I got the bolt on hubs and I've got a set of 15 inch, I've got a set of 16 inch, low profile wires that might go on it. Um, this will be a little joke if the kid who actually I bought off of the thing, because it's a race car. <laughs> but anyway, we'll see. So uh, like I said, I'll leave you there with it now. I will say thanks for looking, thanks for liking and thanks for uh, taking the time to look at the videos anyway. But uh, yeah, so this one should be our next little semi project just to help out. Cause I know I take on too many, but it just keeps me from losing the will to go on. And I've got a major one coming out once I get that thing finished out of the shed. I'm going to have a go at the brakes on this one again. I do not like them brakes. They are absolutely lethal. So, for the minute, that's it. Like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you again. Cheers for now, guys. Bye.